I'm Aaron Luna in the 4 News Now newsroom, your coronavirus information headquarters. This is what we know for April 13th, 2020. In Spokane County, there are now 275 people who've contracted coronavirus. 15 people have died. The latest person to have died, a woman in her 50s. Over the weekend, we did have an increased number of cases. These were specifically related to an outbreak in the Spokane Veterans Home. In the Idaho Panhandle, 49 people have come down with coronavirus. In Kootenai County, some of the cases are not related to travel or contact with confirmed cases. That's why people are urged to stay home, stay safe. Stevens County confirmed its first death from coronavirus. The person had previously been in critical condition battling the virus. Up to 950 inmates may soon be released from the Washington prisons. It's a court ordered effort to reduce the risk of infections among the prison population. Today, Washington, California and Oregon announced an agreement on a shared vision for reopening the economies and controlling COVID-19. So what will that look like? Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward answered that question today. It's an ongoing issue that we're talking about daily. What does it look like when we open the economy back up? And it will be in increments. It won't be all at once, but we need to make sure that it's backed up by data. And then when we do start opening segments of the population or of the economy, we need to be tracking that data even more so to make sure that we don't have an uptick on cases and we don't see another wave of COVID. Washington was facing a child care problem before coronavirus, and now it's worse. According to Child Care Washington, 29 child centers have closed in Spokane, along with 21 home programs and 27 school age only programs. The regional helpline is up and running. If you need help with bills, the number is 509-625-6650. And finally, the CDC recommends wearing homemade masks in public, where social distancing is impractical. From the 4 News Now newsroom, I'm Aaron Luna. That's what we know on April 13th, 2020.